Tell us a few words about what are the first things that you have in mind to do. The museum uh, is going through its uh, next phase. We have the build building up and running and uh, the past presidents and all the people that have tried to do this over the years have done a great job in getting us to this level. And so I'm excited about helping the museum go to the next level, which is really to make it the uh, national Hellenic Museum, not just a museum for, for Chicago Greek town. Remember, uh, the National Hellenic Museum has two primary missions. One is education. Education so that uh, the Hellenism and uh, the, our heritage that we've been so proud of uh, is really uh, part of that education, not only for Greeks, but for non-Greeks. And, and uh, as you go to the museum and you see the children coming through the museums, we just had the myths and morals, uh, it's really exciting to see how, how excited the kids are about learning about this thing. So that's a very, very important mission. The second mission that is equally as important is how do we document the Greek American um, contribution uh, to the United States and, and quite frankly to the world. Some of the ideas that we have right now, for example, is how do we honor the Greek American soldiers uh, from World War II, from all the wars, and uh, that's really exciting. How do we document that so that as we go through history, we have that archive in the National Hellenic Museum. So there are ideas like that. Maybe it's sports. How do we document the Greek Americans that really have uh, been champions in, in the sports? So uh, that's really uh, a major, major initiative for the museum and one that is really uh, close to my heart that I want to make sure happens. And I think since we talked about the oral history and all these people and you're the next president, it will be very interesting very interesting to tell us your history of your family. My father came from Greece, uh, from uh, Vouvra, a town outside of uh, Tripoli, uh, probably 1915. He thought he had uh, accomplished a lot by having a grocery store. I, I remember uh, working hard in the grocery store, and but I went to college and, and you know, I became uh, uh, educated uh, much more so than he was. Uh, but. Um, uh, that's what really what we're trying to do is document some uh, some of that um, history. Yeah, it, it, I think it's really important. The main thing, though, as a kid growing up, and I went to high school in the 1950s, and I didn't realize the the dynamics of what was going on in the United States back then because I was a kid. I don't know what's happening, and what it was was the. American people did not think so much of the Greeks. We were, I, I, we, I remember the term DPs, displaced person. That's what they called us. And my mother was very, very careful to make sure we assimilated into the American society, not the Greek society. And, um, but uh, because of the way the Greeks fought in World War II, the whole dynamics of who we were changed. So what we want to do at the museum is document that because I think what it meant for me, it gave me a lot of courage and character in who I was. You went to the Army later yourself, right? I, I, I joined the Air Force. I was a pilot in the Air Force. But the main point is, is that having the confidence of knowing who I was and where I came from, I think gave me a lot of courage to make my own decisions going forward. And we, we see today all the kids being bullied and things, and a lot of that maybe they don't know who they are. One of the things of the museum is to teach them who to they are. To be proud yeah. of your identity. Yeah. And, and I think today that's got so muted mm -hmm. that one of the purposes of the National Hellenic Museum to me is to make sure that our children, our grandchildren, understand who they are and how proud they should be on where they are. And it's not so much of learning history, it's building the character of those people. And I think that makes them stronger in, in their future. Thank you.